In Izmir, the ground has just begun to shake and the building on the corner is trembling. An earthquake that started at sea but brought down buildings across this region and spread panic. <laughs> Rescuers responded with a frantic hunt for those caught in the rubble. Locals here said the earthquake had come without warning. I thought that the ground is shattered. You cannot think at that moment. All you try to do is to go out. Everywhere was collapsing down. Luckily, our building was intact. We were really panicked and managed to go out at the very last minute. The earthquake also caused large waves, a mini tsunami, that led to flooding. At least one person drowned. And here, boats swept from their marina and marooned on land. There are reports that fishermen who were at sea are still unaccounted for. There were victims too in Greece. The island of Samos has been badly damaged, flooded and battered. Two teenagers were killed here. The effects felt as far away as Athens, Istanbul and Bulgaria. But it is Turkey that has taken the brunt. Nearby nations recently at diplomatic loggerheads with Turkey have offered assistance. But in Izmir, the grim hunt goes on for survivors trapped underneath all this rubble. Adam Parsons, Sky News.